Hello, and welcome back to Rules Untold. I am your Game Master, Tanner Neath, and today marks the third episode of our prologue series where we are introducing the protagonists of our campaign, The Fate of Galvera. Now, today, the next character you get to meet is Miss Riley Parker, played by the fantastic Nicole Abarca-Powell. So, Nicole, are you ready to roll? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Let's get started. As you stand at the edge of the ship, sailing an angry sea, everything seems to be moving in slow motion. Your hair whipping wildly behind you and the shouts of the crew on deck. Just hushed echoes. In the sky, there's black clouds swirling and churning, channeling the rage of the sea in a hot white flashes. You see a bolt descend from the heavens and crash down into the water as an explosion. And behind you, you hear a familiar voice, drowned out by a cacophony of cannon fire. Riley! Riley! The whelm of it all, the chaos, is somehow comforting. It makes you start to think as you're caught up in this whirlwind. And we would all like to know, who is Riley? Um, Riley Parker is a 17-year-old girl. She uh, stowed away, basically, on the ship and has been on the ship for the past nine years. Um, and she, you know, worked her way up from a powder monkey, and now she is first mate of this ship here. Yeah. Congratulations. You blink, and everything seems to speed back up. You look to your left, and you see the crew hastily doing small repairs on the ship, getting cannons in order that the Fable Seeker has to offer what little it has to offer. And then as you turn back, this cannonball, mere inches from your face, flies back and cracks into one of the railings. You hear again, Riley! You look back and you see at the helm of the ship, Captain John Parker. What do you do? Um, I... I'm going to ask the captain. I'll be like, what do you need me to do? As he's straining to maintain control, he... <laughs> Help the crew! I'm taking a ride through the eye of the storm. Then maybe we can lose these fuckers. Go! Help! And prepare for Elmora's wrath. She can be quite a bitch on the sea. And he reels the ship. And you can see he's straining, but he, being as old as he is... Mm -hmm. Still fit. Mm -hmm. Still a fitting captain. Okay. So as you kind of go down and you're looking over the rest of the ship as he told you to kind of mm -hmm. help out the crew, you see some of them are manning the cannons. You see there are some that are hoisting the sails. There are some that are climbing up the masts so they can get a better purview. Um, what would you like to do to assist in this? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go, uh, are there any cannons above the deck or are they all like below? Yes. So there are two cannons, mm -hmm. um, on each side okay. of the deck. There's none below them, okay. below the ship. This is Got more, it. the Fable Seeker is more uh -huh. of a, a, an expedition ship. It's more of a, for traveling, yeah. you know, exploring. Yeah. Um, it's not really equipped with a lot of weaponry. Great. Um, so I'm going to go to, uh, one of the cannons and I'm going to get ready to aim it at, uh, one of the ships following us. Okay. Fantastic. Um, yeah, you go, I'm going to need you, can you make a strength check to try and pull these cannons? You are a 17 year old go girl <laughs> yep. and these are heavy cast mm -hmm. iron soaking wet mm -hmm. cannons. Yep. Yep. Ten. Ten? 
<laughs> okay, you walk up and you see Marco, one of the uh, one of the powder monkeys that uh -huh. was just hired um, and brought upon the ship. He's a big burly man, bald mm -hmm. head, always keeps kind of like a little cap on his head, uh -huh. and he's moving these cannons without a problem. And you uh -huh. go to try and move one of the cannons by yourself, and you and you just uh -huh. they're heavy. Yeah. They are locked and loaded already. Uh -huh. Cannonballs soaking wet, uh -huh. cast iron, as I said, and uh -huh. not quite. Hey, Marco, can you can you do this one for me, and then I'll fire that one you just moved. This big burly man. Not a problem, Riley. <laughs> Great. And he just <sighs> like moves it, like not even with the wheels. He just skids it across. Mm -hmm. Is that about right? Yep. Thank you. And he goes over to the other cannon and starts to light it. Great. Uh, great. I'm going to shoot this cannon then. Fantastic. Um, go ahead and make an attack roll. Okay. It is a plus four. And do you have proficiency with siege weapons? No, I don't. Okay, I didn't think so. No. Um, so just add the plus four, plus four for the actual cannons modifier. Fourteen. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, eighteen will definitely hit. No, As no, no, you... that is plus four. <laughs> oh! I rolled another ten. <laughs> Fourteen will definitely not hit. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> So as you, <laughs> as you light this cannon, you're not, you used to be a powder monkey, mm -hmm. right? That's how you started. Yeah. But you being a powder monkey was more, you're rolling a cannonball over to someone like Marco who can actually deal with this mm -hmm. heavy weaponry. Mm -hmm. um, you've never actually really fired a cannon at incoming ships. Mm -hmm. um, it's below you. <laughs> um, yeah. And, as you go to light this fuse, uh -huh. it and it stops at the cannon. You're like I tap it. <laughs> <laughs> you as you yeah. kind of start slapping it. You the first hit, it's <laughs> the cannon goes, and you see it right past the ship. The cannon <laughs> rolls out of the actual cannon hole mm -hmm. and. You could try and move it back if you wanted to. Um, but you see, as you're trying to fire these cannons, uh -huh. there are three ships. Got it. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to say, Marco, you're going to stick to cannons. I'm going to go up to the crow's nest and see if I can help a uh, direct captain here. Got it! Great. And I uh, run up to the crow's nest and, yeah. Okay, Fantastic. You sprint towards the crow's nest, and you are you trying to like cr like climb all the way up? Yeah, like I want to get to the the top. Okay, so it is one of those multiple like rope uh -huh. ladders. So go ahead and give me just a uh, just go ahead and give me a base athletics check then. Okay. Ooh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Yeah. Yeah, you've climbed on these before, like no problem at all. You climb up to the top of the crow's nest, and you can see a little bit clearer now. There are two smaller ships on the side with one. It looks like some sort of capital ship. You mm -hmm. aren't exactly sure where they're from or mm -hmm. why they're pursuing you. But they are very, very... They are imbued with heavy weaponry. We'll say Got that. It. Okay. Okay. And choose my words carefully. Okay. Um, can can I make a uh, like perception check to see if there are any flags or anything on these ships following us that I might recognize? Sure, yeah. Make okay. perception for me. Ten. Ten? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be my number for this session. <laughs> Ten. Not um, quite. You see... The flags are kind of billowing, but you don't see... They're a little far away. You see okay. there is, like, an insignia. Mm -hmm. And it... With a 10, you're trying to trace it, but okay. you can't... You, it's a little blurry and, like, the okay. mist, and th there's it's a lot to... going on as well. Got it. Okay. Um, can I look in front of us and see if there... I can see anything as far as... Uh, are there rocks or are there something where we can kind of slip into and lose them? So as the captain kind of said, you when you look forward, mm -hmm. there's this 
like massive storm, like okay. hurricane esque storm mm -hmm. in front of you, swirling in this massive black spiral of clouds. Uh -huh. um, and it kind of spans out across the sky above okay. you. And he told you he's going to try and take this ship into the storm, okay. into the heart of the storm, um, hoping to lose the ships there. Okay. So. Okay. Um. I, um, if I start unloading things from the ship, can we move faster? Possibly. What, what, what would you like to try and unload? Um, like any extra, um, supplies that we might not need. Um, I think we need our cannons at this point, so I don't want to get rid of those. But, uh, like if we have... If we have, like, I don't know, a lot of extra, like, flour that we don't need, like, throw that over. Like, oh. <laughs> like those, like, just enough for us to get by, but, like, any anything extra, just get rid of it. Sure. You do know that there is a, uh, you have a couple, like, store cabins yeah. in, in the, the bowels of the uh -huh. ship. Um, I mean, you have the actual, like, cruise quarters. Mm -hmm. You have, you do actually have a, uh, a prisoner on board as well. Um, so... Who's the prisoner? You don't know. Have Somebody, I seen them? Uh, you've you've seen them in passing, but the captain has told you just not to worry about them. Um, and you trust the captain with your life, so. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go down and see this prisoner. I'm okay. gonna go down and see the prisoner. Yeah. Sure. You go down and you see this prisoner, and <laughs> so. He's in nothing but rags. Mm -hmm. He's sitting across, like, at the very, very uh -huh. back of the cell. Uh -huh. And he's got this, like, massive scar okay. along his eye. And What do you want, child? Who are you? <laughs> Why do you need to know? Because we've got three ships blowing cannons at us, and I think it might have to do with you. Well, it wouldn't have anything to do with me. <laughs> I've been in here for, what, a couple weeks? I don't know. Time really, uh, flows when you've got nothing to do. Okay, that didn't answer my question. Who are you? Name's Regis. You That's gotta... all you're getting from me. Um, do I have keys to his cell? No. Um. Okay, I'm going to try to pick the cell open. Got it. Okay. Uh, Is that yeah. a sleight of hand? Yeah. Okay. What are you picking it with? Um. I feel like I probably have some... <laughs> Oh, like maybe like the flint or whatever I use to light the, light the thing. Some sort of okay. metal. I don't think she would have a bobby pin, but like. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, you don't really have like thieves tools or anything. Yeah. So you can try and uh -huh. pick Well, I this got lock. a 21. You got a 21? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know how you pick this lock. With a DC 20 <laughs> for using your freaking fingernails or something, you end up just <laughs> breaking something off inside the lock and happen to break the mechanism of the lock. And as you do, this man lurches forward. I take forward my dagger and hold it against his throat. And he... <laughs> now let's play nice now. Come on. I don't even know you. I introduce myself. What's your name? My name is none of your business. And I'm going to grab him by like the shirt collar and still have the knife to his neck and walk him forward up onto the deck. Okay. Uh, great. You go ahead and actually he, he's complying. He's definitely complying with the knife to his throat. Um, you see, he's like a skinnier man. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's maybe all of like five foot seven. Oh, great. So he's not yeah. that. Yeah, he's not, like, crazy <laughs> no, tall. Riley's only 5'3". So. Nice. Um, but, yeah, you bring him up on board. Mm -hmm. And what would you like to do with this man? I'm going to 
turn to have him face the um, the ships that are coming after us, and I'm going to yell very loudly. Okay. I don't know if they're going to hear me, but I'm yell. I'll be like, "If you want him alive and not thrown into this bloody sea, you're going to stop shooting at us." You you hear that familiar voice again, Riley? What are you doing? Put him back! It's him he's a- they're after, isn't it? No! Riley! He- Edmund! He calls Edmund up, and he takes the wheel. He grabs you by the shoulder, <laughs> and he grabs the man by the scruff of his rags. He goes, Don't fill him with things you don't know things about. Alright? Help the crew. I'm bringing him back down. I would know about it if you fucking told me. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> fucking thought so. <laughs> and he, uh, he begins to lead the prisoner back down. Okay. You then see this cannonball fly past. Make an insight check for me. Is that a nat one? It's a nat one and I have a minus one to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Great. A whole zero. zero. A whole zero. Um, yeah, you still have no idea what's going on. Okay. You don't know why these ships are chasing you. Okay. You don't know what the captain is wanting from you. Mm-hmm. Now Edmund is steering the ship. Uh-huh. And I don't think you know what he knows what to do. Yeah, fuck Edmund. So, um, yeah. yeah, where would you like to go from here? Um, you're getting closer and closer to this, this storm. storm. <laughs> I'm gonna go over, push Edmund out of the way, be like, I got this from here, go fire some cannons! Uh, that's kind of my job, um... Edmund, go! Now! Uh, okay! He begins to run, and he kind of, like, leaps over the, the railing, trying uh-huh. to take the quickest uh-huh. route, and he... <laughs> He kind of like Jesus tumbles Christ. over the railing. I'm okay. And then you see him get up and run towards a cannon. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to steer us into the heart of this um, storm then. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Then go ahead and do you have proficiency in uh, water vehicles? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then I would love for you to just roll, just roll a straight survival check. Okay. Plus my proficiency? Yes. Okay. Hold on, I'm doing math. Okay. That's what it is. Eleven. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh, ten. in total. Ten is the number of the... Great. <laughs> You're rolling ten. I think that's weighted. <laughs> right? I really... I should just switch to the other one. Though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you're trying to take it, and you can understand why the captain looked like he was struggling to maintain control. Mm -hmm. The seas are angry. You're understanding Elmora's wrath Mm -hmm. now, as you are in the Elmoran Sea. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to sway it, and it's going with the actual storm, churning the sea. Mm -hmm. You're having a hard time steering it as you're kind of veering towards the right side. Okay. Um. The captain finally then comes back up and he he runs and he pulls himself over the railing you see he kind of gimps over to you as you know he's kind of got this atrophied leg and he grabs you kind of Mm -hmm. by the scruff of Mm -hmm. the back of your shirt Mm -hmm. he lifts you up and he just puts you aside and grabs the wheel Mm -hmm. Riley I'm not gonna say it again go help the crew and I am going to run. Where do I see the most crew members right now? Um, the most crew members are trying to hoist these sails right now. Oh, okay. I'm going to go and hoist the sails. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll give you advantage because most of them are trying to hoist these. Yeah. Go ahead and give me a strength check, please. Uh, um, like athletics, actually. Athletics is yeah. perfect. <laughs> That's a 12. Okay. Um, it's just 10. Yeah, it's just this it's, die is just 10. <laughs> uh. It's still not enough. You're, you're trying to hoist, yeah. and as you see, you like look back just to make sure the captain's doing mm-hmm. okay, 
and as you do, you kind of let it slip from your hands. A couple of the crew kind of skid forward on their heels, pulling, and then they let go of the rope, and one of the sails starts to just kind of flap wildly. Uh, can I climb to try to re-grab that sail? Sure. Grab the rope? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll say, I'll, I'll say you can probably grab, grab it. Grab it, okay. Um, what do you want to do with it? Um, all right, men, I have this rope. I need you to hold on to me and pull me down. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, so as you say this, mm-hmm. A cannonball comes flying straight into the mast that you are oh, currently great. on, uh-huh. and it <laughs> falls. I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw, Jesus please. Christ. Okay. That was a nat one. What is I, up? They with were you rolling right fine now. earlier. Tanner's whole campaign is ruined because my dice are bad. <laughs> um. Yeah, as you cracked the sail. You're kind of Mm -hmm. stuck. You try and jump off, but your foot is caught in one of the ropes and you swing and slam straight down Mm -hmm. for four points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And you are now knocked prone. Okay. You see the rest of the crew. They're trying to kind of like unbury you and get you out. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um... Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to become unprone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm so I'm under. Am I tied up in the rope still? Yes. I'm gonna take my dagger and cut myself out of the rope. Got it. Yeah. yeah. I'll say that's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, and as you kind of stand up, mm-hmm. you look about, and the crew is rushing towards kind of the side of the ship, as you see all three of these ships turn sideways. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. And you see one of the ships <laughs> shoots off this rope. Uh-huh. And it just kink into the side of the ship. I cut the rope. You hear, well, no, like, it's, it, like, just dinks into the side of the ship. Oh, and doesn't it doesn't hit. Contact. Okay, okay. And then you see the crew start to kind of boisterously laugh until three more <laughs> grapple onto the sides of the of the ship. Okay. I <laughs> cut the rope. Great. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and there are three of them uh-huh. and they are pretty embedded into the ship. As okay. you kind of get over to the actual rope itself, uh-huh. you see that they are steel corded. Okay. So. Oh, like it's steel corded rope. Got yes. it. Not, not Okay, not twine. Yeah, no, it's okay. it's not. They have to fire pretty far for these grappling ships. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, so, like, my dagger won't cut through it, but... Probably not. Can I cut around it? Into the ship? Yeah. <laughs> Into the hardwood ship? You can try. Um, I, I would say that would probably take you some time to okay. do that. Um, I don't want them... You walk over to it, and you feel the ship lurch to the side as the ship starts to pull you, force you backwards. Okay. I... You know what? I'm just gonna... Your progress is halted. Keep going. I'm gonna just yell at them, at these ships, be like, What do you want? You stand there in this this raging storm, <laughs> cannonballs flying, uh-huh. grappling hooks locking onto your ship, mm-hmm. the rest of your crew screaming and shouting as well, the captain demanding orders, uh-huh. and you just yell out to the open sea, <laughs> awaiting a response. And you get nothing. Can I, can <laughs> I roll performance and see if I'm loud enough? <laughs> sure, you could try. <laughs> Girl, I don't think you've rolled higher than I have. Okay. Um, you wait, and you still just get no response except for a um of thunder. 
Okay, I'm going to climb across these grappling hooks. I'm going to climb to the other ship. So the, that is 120 feet away. I will say that. I'm going to really slowly. <laughs> As you start to kind of climb, you... Okay. You see Marco, the yeah. same burly, yeah. big, mm-hmm. full-hearted, uh-huh. lovely man yeah. that he is. Riley, what are you doing? <laughs> he grabs you by the scruff of your shirt. Uh-huh. Very familiar feeling, <laughs> yeah. as you can tell. And he uh-huh. sets you down. That is not a way to be, little lady. Help me. And he grabs onto one of the hooks uh-huh. of the yeah. um, of the anchor uh-huh. and starts to pull up. Okay. So make a strength check, and he will make one as well. Seven. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, cool. He got a 17. <laughs> um, ten. And Magic he, is ten. And you uh-huh. see it whip wildly until it yeah. into the sea. Now, come on. Help me. we got to do the rest. There's yeah. two more. Great. Nine. Okay, fantastic. He got another, well, he, yeah, he got another 17. Great. Math. He grabs. Mm-hmm. Whoosh, whoosh. Mm-hmm. You're doing great, Riley. Thanks, he, Marco. He holds up his hand to try and give you a high five, and you have to, like, jump <laughs> for the high five, Amazing. and he runs. You definitely get to the to these the, before he does, because, uh, again, I'm, he's a bigger dude. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I just... What is up? Does somebody want to uh, buy that was, new dice? That, that was a dirty 20 okay. on his end, so Great. don't worry. He's, a, again, and he... Mm-hmm. Your ship, tilted as it is, goes back to normal okay. as the captain. All hands! Get below deck! Mm-hmm. Right now! Go. I Actually, no, I am going to actually run over to the captain for somebody like... Do you need me any, anything up here, Captain, before I go down? He looks at you, and he just goes and he grabs your hand. Aww. As you see the rest of the crew kind of flood into the bowels of the ship. Okay. And as you've been dealing with the sails and mm-hmm. the cannons and mm-hmm. repairs mm-hmm. and unhooking these grapples, you finally hold his hand, mm-hmm. look up at him, and you look forward and the black wall of clouds is mm-hmm. maybe 10 feet away. Okay. Brace yourself, Riley. This could be rough. Can you go ahead and give me a dexterity mm-hmm. or a con save? Depending on what you want to do going through these clouds. I mean, they're both the same. Um, Well, what would you like to do? I think she's going to... Riley is standing strong. Okay. She's like, she's there, she's facing it head on. Then I want a con save. It was so close to an 18. That is a four. All right. It was so close to a dirty 20. It was so close. You and the captain both. Uh Uh-huh. One hand on the wheel, one hand holding each other's. And this wind... And you try to hold strong. Your feet lift up off the ground Mm -hmm. as you hold on. And you lose the captain. You lose hold on the ship. You're airborne and you you slam into the side of the ship. God, okay. Can you go ahead and give me athletics or acrobatics to try and grab onto Uh, something for the ship? Unless you want to free bird fly this thing. No, let's do... Let's do athletics. Again, they're both the same. Okay. um, Okay. Okay. Uh, First good roll? 16. Great, yeah. You just... That sail, that was flapping in the wind. You... Mm -hmm. And you just managed to grasp onto it. You wrap it around Mm -hmm. your arm and you just hold as tight as you can. Great. You see... The captain gets swept up inside the storm. Uh, Nowhere to be seen. Uh. <laughs> and as the storm 
seems to be at its harshest. Uh-huh. You see things start to quell. And the sails drop lightly as you are mm-hmm. hanging, mm-hmm. wrapped up. You notice the light get brighter. You are in the center of this storm. And it's amazing how from all this stress, this chaos on the outside, the center of this storm is peaceful. It's still seeming completely devoid of everything, life, motion, clouds. It's just a clear blue sky above. You are still hanging one hand about 20 feet up. Um, I yell for the captain. Captain! Captain! You don't get a response. You don't hear anything except for small footsteps increasing in volume as doors swing open and you see some of the crew kind of flood the deck of the ship. Okay. Um, I... I'm 20 feet up. Is there anything close by that I can finagle on to climb down or do I just have to drop? Um, yeah, no, th- there's still, like, the rope ladders and everything. Great. So if you'd like to try and climb down that, you can. And um, I'd say it's easy enough to where you can just climb down. I'm going to, before I climb down, I'm going to uh, look around to see if I can see any any sign of the captain, any, maybe, is ha- if it's a hat, I can see anywhere, anything of him. Um, uh, perception, then, for that? Yeah. Three. Three? Yeah. You're not seeing anything. You're looking throughout the rest of the crew and you're counting heads. You notice that most of the crew has come out of this uninjured, but Mm -hmm. no sign of the captain. Okay. Um, I make my way down to the deck. Okay. I'm going to go over to the steering wheel and um, try to circle back. I'll be like, we have to go back for him. Edmund runs up. Any, Riley, Riley. Uh, What happened? He was there and then, and then he, he lost his grip and then he, he, he flew. Wait, wait, what? I don't. uh, Captain. Yes. Yes. So we have to, yes. So we have to go back for him. He just embraces you in a big hug. Um, I, I push him away. Okay. I push him away and I go to the steering wheel and, he, and stir. Stop! Stop! He, he's going to try and overpower you to take over the steering wheel. Okay. Would you like to fight it? or? Yeah, I'm going to fucking fight it. Okay, cool. Uh, what do I need? Am I just rolling strength? Uh, it's, this is a contested athletics or strength roll. Okay, so athletics. Plus, I would rather do athletics. 17. He rolls a 19. He just barely, uh, uh, he pushes you away. Uh-huh. And you know, this this boy is about as old as you are. Yeah. And he, Riley, stop. If he was caught up in the storm, he's gone. He's, no. he's gone. No, no, he could still be out there. We don't know that. Think about this. Think about the rest of the crew. If we go back out there, we're dead. There's three ships. The Lavalin capital ships somehow are after us. I I don't know why, but if we go out there, you're putting the rest of the crew in danger. All right? The captain is gone. You can go on. I'm going to take a lifeboat and go and look for him. I'll walk you down to the lifeboat. Um, 
on my way there, I grab like a little, some uh, provisions from like the storeroom to like, okay. yeah. Yeah. You go down, you see everybody is kind of <sighs> slumped against the railings mm-hmm. and sitting on barrels turned aside. And they're all just kind of <sighs> holding their face. They're wiping some of like the sea mist off mm-hmm. their face. They're trying to recuperate, you know? Mm-hmm. And you see another boy, Blake, one of the newer deck hands. Uh-huh. And he. <clears throat> uh, Miss Riley, are, are you doing okay? I'm fine, Blake. We're, I'm going to go find the captain. He's. Is he not below deck? No. No, he got caught up in the storm. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I would have never thought that's how the captain would have gone out, but... He's not have gone out. He's just missing, that's all. <laughs> I mean... Uh... Right. He looks at Edmund. Right. And he turns around and he just walks away. As you and Edmund walk over to the side of the boat where there is this small little raft can maybe hold two people. You feel a slight chill kind of run through your spine Mm -hmm. and you feel like you've escaped but with everything that has transpired within the last 30 minutes Mm -hmm. it's still surreal but you look below and even in this moment of denial in this moment of chaos there is a beauty to the clear ocean below. You can see just below the surface this small grouping of of wildlife, Mm -hmm. these schools of fish, Mm -hmm. and a turtle swims right under where the lifeboat is. It is beautiful, right? Yeah. That's That's why I came out to sail on the sea. I, uh, I wanted to explore the world. I've always thought the seas of Galvera are just amazing. And obviously Captain Parker thought so too. Um, Thanks. Yeah. um, Edmund looks over the side of the ship. Hey, do you? Do you see that? See what? I look. I look weird. Can you make a perception check for me? Yeah. Jesus Christ! I got a nat one. <laughs> what? What is that? Three? No, it's a two. No, is oh, that three, three of them this session? Yeah. My lord. Jesus. The dice just don't want me and my character to do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> as you... Uh, as you... Look over the edge, you see this massive shadow. And then, right in front of your face, this giant tentacle rise out of the sea. This, This bright blue sky that seemed to give you freedom from the outside storm darkens yet again, encapsulating almost like a prison of black swirling clouds. You see the lightning start to form within this spiraling Mm -hmm. black cloud. And then you see one more, one more, Uh another, another. And they all rise out Uh as you see a massive grouping of these tentacles. Mm -hmm. They start to swipe. Can you make a deck save for me, please? Yeah. And Edmund is going to have to as okay, well. Okay, okay, dirty 20. 
About damn time. About damn time. <laughs> Not so great for Edmund, though. Okay. As you leap uh-huh. over this giant tentacle, uh-huh. it woof, and you see Edmund get smacked straight back, and it woof, wipes these barrels and crates, uh-huh. sends them flying throughout the entirety of the ship. Uh-huh. What do you do? Oh, man on deck, we need everyone at the cannons now! The crew Mm -hmm. rushes towards these Mm -hmm. cannons. There's only two on each side, Mm -hmm. but they start to hoist. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Familiar face, Marco. (laughs) Come on, Marco. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah, one's a crit fail and one is a five. Marco. Yeah. Um, They they try and light Uh these and it's just, they're not lighting. It seems that there's the gunpowder that is actually in uh-huh. the cannons is too wet. Jesus Christ. Okay. Another tentacle <laughs> slams down into the top of the ship and it drags across, sweeping mm-hmm. the, the legs of a few of the crewmen. Uh-huh. You see it curls around one of the crewmen and ah! <laughs> slams him back into the ocean. Um, do we have any harpoons? Uh, no harpoons. Okay. Um, the only weaponry you have are, you have crossbows for the actual crew, uh-huh. and then you have these four cannons. Again, it's more of an expedition ship than yeah. it is a, a... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, and I only see the tentacles? You only see the tentacles. Okay, we're going to shoot a crossbow at one of the tentacles. Okay, fantastic. Okay. 14. 14 does not hit, I'm sorry. You, and you see it sticks into the side of the tentacle. Uh But it's like it doesn't even notice it as it, Mm -hmm. it goes to slam down on you again. Can you go ahead and make a deck save again? Yeah. 11. 11. It <laughs> slams you down into uh-huh. the ground and you take <laughs> you take four points <laughs> of bludgeoning damage. How you doing, Riley? I'm down to two. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> You're still up, though. <laughs> and it <laughs> bludgeons you really quick. Okay. It's not a lot softer than you were thinking, uh-huh. but you did have some cushion behind you okay. as it seems to kind of sweep right over you. Mm-hmm. It lurches up again. And then you see this sword <laughs> slash into this tentacle and it, <laughs> it lur- lurches down into the ocean. Uh-huh. Get away from my daughter. And you see the captain <laughs> pulling himself back <laughs> overboard. He hops over. He kind of gimps over to you. I'm not crying, you are. <laughs> yeah. Elmora won't take me that fast, lad. Now, yeah. let's finish this beast. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm fully crying right now. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. He goes over and he pulls out two more swords uh-huh. and he rushes at some of these tentacles Spraying and slashing mm-hmm. at them. What would you like to do in this instant? I'm going to take um, my daggers, one in each hand, and also slash at the tentacles. Okay, go ahead and make uh, go ahead and make some attack rolls. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Okay. That's a three damage. Okay. Awesome. Um, do you want, I'll make another one because I have two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, six. Okay. You see Captain John Parker. He does this wild flurry of slashes Uh and this blood just like almost delayed. Mm -hmm. Like sprays out of these real thin cuts. And you run up and you take Uh one of your daggers and just stab it straight into this cut. And it Uh actually seems to sink in. So you take another dagger and you try and it ding falls away. Uh But you stay embedded in this thing. It 
<laughs> launches you. Can you make another dexterity? Oh, actually, no. Can you make an acrobatics check real quick? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Um, 13. 13? Yeah. yeah, I'll say you just make it. You end up, like, kind of flying, and you kind of do, like, a back spin, and then you mm -hmm. kind of catch yourself mm -hmm. all, kind of on all fours sliding uh -huh. against the deck. Uh -huh. And you see... John Parker again. He, sh sh you huh. see his blades kind of glow with this dark essence, and he sh slashes at both of them, uh -huh. and the entire tentacle sh sh splashes down into the water. Mm -hmm. He turns to you, Royley. Hide. Um, where? <laughs> you see him look up. Can you make a dexterity saving throw for me? Yeah. Nat 20. <laughs> nice. As he looks up, you look up and you dive uh -huh. towards the center of the ship. Yeah. Just making it out of it. He runs uh -huh. and he goes to slash at it uh -huh. just as well. Uh -huh. And now as you're laying here, uh -huh. you kind of turn over and you see the rest of the crew. Uh -huh. They're fighting with all their might against these just massive tentacles that are just as long, if not just as thick as the ship. And you look, what would you like to do in this instance, seeing the entirety of the scene? Um, are the tentacles like holding onto the ship at all? You see, there are some that are swiping mm -hmm. away at the crew. Mm -hmm. There are some that are battering the ship. Mm -hmm. And then there are some that are climbing up the sides of the ship, grasping it. Okay, so we can't move. Um, I... And at this point, I'd say that you've had a good view of all of these. Uh-huh. There's roughly about 14 of them left. Okay, um, did we only try two of the cannons? Yes. Uh, I no, 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 you, you tried all of them. I, I rolled for all of them. Okay. Um. <sighs> okay, Captain John Parker is an absolute badass. <laughs> he, he's slashing away at these, and again, he gathers this dark uh -huh. energy, kind of swirling up his hands, uh -huh. and he, slashes away and you see this kind of like mist like essence just sh 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 slash at it and it mm -hmm. lurches down into the water again mm -hmm. you see all of the tentacles they start to slither back down into the ocean great I'm except for the ones that are grabbing, grabbing. onto the ship okay and then you see this massive head this huge creature, ten times the size of these tentacles, uh -huh. reach up, mouth gaping wide, uh -huh. these teeth rows and rows and rows, seeming like an endless void of nothing but sharp dagger shark-like teeth. Uh -huh. You see it billows this kind of like black cloud, this fog out of its mouth as it It washes through the entirety of the ship. You see the crew is running away from this kind of fog, but you can't move anywhere. You are on the brink, and you just sit there. Can you make a constitution saving throw for me? Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen? Just almost. DC was sixteen. <laughs> okay, you take two points. Yeah, I actually only rolled two. <laughs> so. Okay, well, I'm down. Okay. And as you kind of sit there and you're watching, the last view you get is of the captain. He leaps from railing to railing over to the aft of the ship, standing kind of in between these broken bits of railing. <laughs> very much like 
like captain style, one leg up, one on the ship, uh-huh. two swords at his side, uh-huh. and he yells at this beast as this gaping maw is just ready to envelop the entirety of the ship. And just as he raises his swords, uh-huh. your eyes shut. It's complete darkness. And then you awake. Almost just mere seconds uh-huh. had gone by. And you see the captain above you, bloodied, battered, scarred, gnashed, gnarled. He reaches a hand out to you. Uh-huh. And he. I'm sorry, Lass. It's been good. Uh, oh, what am I trying to say here? He just reaches down to you uh-huh. and grasps your hand with both hands. Uh-huh. He reaches into his jacket and he pulls out this small leather-bound tome, mm-hmm. puts it in your hand. I love you, Riley. Be safe. He turns, he sprints, and you see he kneels down uh-huh. and then he woof, launches himself. Swords first. Uh-huh. into the maw uh-huh. of this beast straight down its throat. It... Mm-hmm. I scream out. I'm fully like, yeah. You scream in agony. Yeah. And then you see this beast start to kind of almost like, like flail and flinch as the tentacles <laughs> crash through the ship, capsizing it in half, but letting go, and this thing goes back down into the depths of the ship. Uh And from there, clutching this journal, Uh everything goes black again. And when you finally awake, Uh you're aboard the open sea. You see two boys sitting there, kind of head hanging over the water, not looking at each other. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Uh, Do I know who's with me in the... This is Blake. This is Edmund. Okay. Um. What happened? <gasps> Riley! I. Oh my god, you were out for days. Uh, we thought the worst. I. I didn't know. Edmund. I thought she was dead. I know, me as well. Um. Well, I'm bloody not, so what happened? It's just us, Riley. The ship, the crew, the captain, everything's gone. All of the the work that the captain's done, everything that we've gathered along the way, everything lost to a beast. Where did that, I don't, I don't know. We, I've talked about this so many times. Anyways, it's... It's been four days, Riley. We, You were unconscious. We found you floating aboard this board. I mean, you were the only one left. We had to, we had to save you. We thought it was too late, but obviously something's looking over you. Actually, come to think of it, you're not even bruised or beaten. How How are you in such good condition? I don't know. Um, what happened to the to the creature? Last I saw the captain he 
took care of it, I guess. He jumped, and once it had the captain, it just left. Okay. You see Blake kind of sits back, and he's... He's more of, like, dissociating right now. Maybe the captain had some stuff that we didn't know about. Maybe he... Maybe he deserved it? What did you say? I... What did you say? I, I'm just speaking theoreticals here. I... We don't... I didn't... No. Did anybody... No. No. You didn't know anything. You came on this ship, like, what? A month ago? If that. You don't know anything. You don't know him. So shut your goddamn mouth. Hey. No. I'm the one who spotted you. You'd be out there probably eaten by some creature by now if it wasn't for me, so a thank you would be nice. Okay, the captain's gone. The rest of the crew is gone. I pull out my dagger, and I point it to his throat, and I say, you shut your goddamn mouth. He presses it into his throat just a little bit. Just a point. I've been through enough. You think you're scaring me? I just saw the death of everybody that I've known for the past month. That's enough death that I ever want to see. The past month. You've known them for a past month. How about the past nine years? How about that? And look how fine you are. As the blood starts to drip <sighs> down, you feel this like <laughs> in your head. Mm -hmm. You drop the dagger and you feel weak and you feel this like wanting. You intake this smell, this presence, a sense. It's good. It feels great. You, you want it. What? The, stop looking at me like that. Did you, in your haste to save yourselves, put anything in this lifeboat as far as provisions or something to catch water with anything. Uh, we didn't really have time. The lifeboat was sitting there once the boat capsized. I mean, Blake and I were the only ones to swim over to it and we rode around a little bit trying to find any floating cargo, any survivors, but Everything went down with the ship. Only thing we could find was wreckage. God. And you, obviously. Um, Blake is right. He, he is the one who saw you. Um, Blake, it was a little insensitive to say that about the captain. He was a good guy, you know. I've known him not as long as Riley has, but I've known him for a few years. Um, he always treated me well. Riley, I'm sorry. I know how close you were to him. Yeah, whatever. This whole situation just fucking sucks. And he kind of, he wipes away the blood. And you see it smeared all uh -huh. over his hand. And you just get this, like, like, so it's pulling you. Can you make a con save for me, yeah. please? 16. 16? Okay. You go to grasp at him and you just, you catch yourself in your, in your head. You're like, what am I doing? What is this? Anyways, I, we don't know where we're at. We have no provisions. There's three of us. We're out in the middle of the El Morin Sea. I, Hopeless. It's... We're, we're gonna, he holds his head and he, We're gonna fucking die. We're gonna fucking die out you here. You don't know that. You don't know that. Shut the fuck up, Riley. And he turns towards the sea and he... And he just starts to vomit into the sea. You see Edmund, he kind of goes over and he puts a hand on the back of Blake... And he just kind of starts to rub his back a little bit. Um, Guys, this is... 
a rough time. I understand. I... But... We can try and get through this. I mean... I've heard stories. Um... And... If we just believe, then... Hopefully everything will turn out all right. Yeah. Maybe we can fish. Or something. Yeah, I mean, I have my dagger still. I can try to do something with that. Um, Edmund, your jacket. Uh, yeah, yeah? Take it off. We can use it to collect rain water if it rains. Something like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. He goes to take off his jacket and he just kind of folds it up ni- like nice and neat mm-hmm. and then he just hands it to you. Great. Um, I'm going to keep that off to the side because it's not raining yet. We don't okay. need it. Um, um, Okay, uh, we're gonna need to conserve energy, so we'll take this in shifts as far as uh, uh, sleeping and whatnot. So maybe um, one person asleep for right now, two watching as far as uh, trying to get fishing or just just looking out for any signs of other ships. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, who's gonna take first watch? I mean, I just, I just woke up, so I can do it, um... Okay. Like, you just puked, so maybe you should go to bed first. He, head, kind of, almost like in the water, he just holds up (laughs) a thumbs up, and then just kind of slumps over the boat. Mm -hmm. He kind of gets himself back up, and he puts his head on the side of the boat. Mm -hmm. You wait for about 30 seconds, and that boy's out. All right, well, if anything happens, Riley, mm-hmm. let me know, okay? Yeah. If you need anything, I'm right here, okay? Yep. And he goes to kind of lay down and mm-hmm. he kind of curls up so as to give you and Blake ample room to mm-hmm. have your space as well. And he curls against the boat and he ends up falling asleep. You sail for about another two hours. You get this poof in your head. Mm-hmm. Can you roll another con save for me? Nine. Nine. Yeah. You feel this bloodlust kind of come from you. Uh-huh. And you see Edmund and Blake in front of you, helpless. And you just hear this voice. Feed. Do I recognize the voice? I don't. You can't help yourself. You have to feed. All you want to do right now is eat one of these boys. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna nudge Edmund awake. Okay. <laughs> what? Are you okay? I've already been out four days, Mm -hmm. and um, even before the battle, we hadn't eaten, hadn't had a meal in a few hours. Uh, Listen, we're... Blake's not doing so well, right? Did he get injured? Uh, Yeah, I I patched up his side a little bit. Um, I, I guess part of the ship was kind of impaled in him. He was bleeding pretty bad. Um, and I mean, you kind of... Yeah, I nicked him, I know, okay. Yeah. Yeah, compared to fucking ship in his side, that's nothing. Uh, listen. We might to survive, especially if, if Blake's not gonna make it. Might have to um, custom of the sea, if you will. I, 
I don't know if I catch your drift. Sometimes, when shipwrecks happen, and there isn't a pig to eat or a chicken. No, 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 we, we can't eat plague. No, that's, that's wrong. That's, that's, it's, it's to survive. No, I, mm -mm. we can catch fish or we can, I, I don't, I haven't seen a fish yet. I just no, don't. I I won't. I don't know how much longer this will last. Can you make another constitution saving throw yeah. for me? Jesus Christ! Wow. Ah! I a got a natural nat one. one. <laughs> As you say this, your eyes glaze over this dark, cloudy black uh -huh. with cracks of blue, this almost what looks like bolts of lightning. Uh -huh. You speak, but nothing comes out as this billow of black smoke. Mm -hmm. You feel yourself growing and your teeth start to elongate and grow serrated like a shark. <laughs> yeah. And you... <sighs> you can't fight it. You gotta, you gotta have something. Now. Oh, okay. God damn it, it's not one. Um... I... You see Edmund, he kind of <sighs> backs up. <gasps> Riley? How much can I don't have any control over me, do I, right now? Oh, fuck it. Okay. Not especially not with a nat one. No! <laughs> this is not how I wanted it to go. Okay. I am... I think I'm going to smell the most blood from Blake. So I'm going to turn towards Blake. What what is his leg closer to me or his yeah right because if he's leaning over the yeah. he's currently like over it, like if this is the side of the ship yeah. and his head is and here, I'm like in the middle and his arms are like this yeah and he's just kind of sprawled out right I'm gonna um bite one of his legs off okay you go <laughs> you chop into the side of his leg uh -huh. and he <gasps> oh ah oh, what the what the fuck and he looks back at you and he's oh huh, what the ah Edmund, oh, I, I don't, I didn't. He dives over the side and he drops into the water and he starts to swim. No, Edmund, Edmund, come back! <laughs> Where is he fucking going? Um, I, I take one of my tendrils and I slash Blake's throat. Okay. He, what? I the, um, this wide spray of blood just envelops you, covers yeah. you, but it's invigorating. Yeah. It like seeps into you and you just, you lose yourself. This dark black essence that has encapsulated your eyes has now blinded you. And you black out. You awake. Maybe a day? Maybe a few days? Maybe only an hour? You don't know. Time is relative at this point. But what you do know is there is a partially broken and crushed skeleton in this boat oh, yeah. with not a lick of flesh on him. Every ounce of blood is either on you. I, I I heave over the side of the boat. I don't know if anything's in me, but I fully heave. You fully heave. Yeah. Absolutely you do. And as you come back up, you see there's a large ship in the distance. Uh-huh. 
a massive ship in the distance. Can you make a uh, a perception check for me? Yeah. Um. Okay. Three. Can't quite see what kind of ship it is, yeah. but you do see there's boats, small boats coming towards you, uh-huh. seeming to approach your direction. And as they approach your direction, you smile a bit, unknowingly, and that hunger comes right on back as your eyes begin to turn cloudy once more. And that, my friends, is where we're going to end our episode today. I hope you enjoyed. And are you ready?